Hello and welcome to F1 News Today with me, Aaron Harper. Right, let's take a look at what's making the news in the world of Formula One today. McLaren's Daniel Ricciardo says he is at peace with the idea of never having the chance to win a Formula One World Championship, should that be the way his career goes from this point. Ricciardo, the winner of eight races, including this season's Italian Grand Prix at Monza, is considered one of F1's most talented drivers, but has not had the car to challenge for a championship yet. Speaking to F1's Beyond the Grid podcast, Ricardo said, There was a time where I was a little bit bitter. Like, I should have had a title by now. This sucks. Why don't I? Wrong place, wrong time. Or this or that. But maybe that's the growth in me. Or the maturity where I don't think that anymore. I'm still here because I believe I can win a title and I want to win a title. But I'm at peace with whatever happens. As long as I go out and leave it all on the track, I'll get fulfillment. I just don't want to put all my eggs in one basket and then be miserable for the rest of my life because I haven't done it. Winning in Monza was probably all I needed to give me all the happiness in 2021. That also proved that you can get so much more from not just the world title. Let's see, eh? Anything can happen, especially with the new regulations in 2022. How about this for a dream pairing? Current Mercedes driver Valtteri Bottas will join forces with his fellow Finn and two-time F1 champion Mika Hakkinen for next year's Race of Champions, taking place in Sweden on February the 5th and 6th in 2022. Bottas and Hakkinen, who also manages Bottas's career, incidentally, were formed as Team Finland at the Race of Champions 2022, which is also set to be run on snow and ice in Patea in the northeast of Sweden. Bottas said, I've become good friends with Mika, so I'm very happy to have him as my teammate representing Finland in the ROC Nations Cup. But then, of course, we have to try to beat each other in the individual Race of Champions. It'll be entertaining for the fans, whoever wins it. Can this Finnish duo be as dominant as Vettel and Schumacher were at the Race of Champions, where they won it six years in a row? We'll have to wait and see. Speaking of Sebastian Vettel, Timo Glock has said that Vettel's values do not align with F1, but he has earned the right to voice his opinions on how the sport can improve. The four-time world champion has become increasingly vocal in public about how the world and Formula One within that needs to help tackle the climate crisis. He has started and supported his own initiatives to see how he can help. Former F1 driver Glock was asked if he was surprised that Vettel had stayed in Formula 1, given his views on certain issues, but the former Toyota driver believes that those in charge have no right to try and censor him. Glock said, It seems that Sebastian's values no longer match those of Formula 1. I can imagine them creators and some fans don't like that. On the other hand, what should they do? Forbid him? Certainly not. Seb has achieved too much for that. Glock also refuted the suggestion that the German had become too old to compete at the highest level, adding, Of course, there were one or two mistakes in the past, but those were just external circumstances at Ferrari that narrow you down, where you are no longer free in your head. I am convinced that if he has the right car, he can continue to compete at the front. Things could get spicy for Vettel, with some stops on the Formula 1 Canada that are coming up. Turning our attention to the championship battle. Christian Horner believes Lewis Hamilton has never faced a challenge like the one he's had from Max Verstappen this season. With just six rounds to go of the 2021 campaign, Hamilton trails the Dutchman by six points in a fight that looks set to go down to the final round. The seven-time world champion has headed to a season finale in yet-to-be-decided title fights on five different occasions in the past. 2007, 2008, 2010, 2014 and memorably in 2016. However, Horner feels the Brit has never faced a challenge as intense as the one from Verstappen. Horner said, I think inevitably there was always going to be an evolution, the Red Bull team principal told The Guardian. Lewis has had an amazing career and he's still in fantastic form. He's still a titan of the sport. The fact that Max has gone toe-to-toe with him is probably something that Lewis hasn't had throughout his career, certainly throughout the championship years. There's nothing with this degree of intensity. There's obviously a lot at stake for him as he's going for a record-breaking eighth championship. Max is going for his first and he knows he's got many more years to come. If the Dutchman prevails this season, it will be the fifth time a Red Bull driver has won the World Championship, with Sebastian Vettel doing so every year from 2010 to 2013. Given how dominant Mercedes have been since the start of the turbo hybrid era, Horner says this achievement would be amongst his team's most impressive. It will be our biggest achievement, he said. If you look at the strength of Mercedes and the dominance they've had, it's clear that nobody's come near them for years. No one has put them under this kind of pressure at this stage of the season. So it will be an enormous achievement if we pull it off. Who do you think will win the Drivers' Championship? Let us know in the comments. 
And finally, in what is arguably the biggest piece of news in F1 this week, with the horrible time zone difference between the US and the UK, the usual Grid Talk post-qualifying analysis podcast format will change for the US Grand Prix. This weekend, we're going to host a live watch-along on our YouTube channel during Saturday's qualifying session, which will double up as that podcast episode, because we're all too old and need much, too much beauty sleep to stay up too late. Then it'll be back to our usual winning formula on Sunday, where shortly after the conclusion of the race, we'll record the podcast live on YouTube and release the audio version later in the day across iTunes, Spotify, and all the regular podcast platforms. We hope you can join us for the qualifying watch along on Saturday. It'll be fun to do something a little bit different and have a bit of banter. So make sure you're subscribed on YouTube so you can come and join us. Well, that's it for today. We'll be back again next week with the next installment of F1 News Today. We are powered by the F1 Chronicle. Make sure you visit f1chronicle.com for more news and subscribe to the F1 Chronicle YouTube channel so you never miss an episode of F1 News Today. See you soon for the next update.